What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to the lab. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make sparklers inside of Minecraft. Now this is of course using the Education Edition, which for those of you who are not aware, this is built directly into the game. You do not have to download anything uh, specific in order to gain access to this. And I'm actually going to be doing this tutorial in a little bit of a reverse order from the other Education Edition tutorials that I've done in the past. And there is a particular reason as to why I'm doing that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the actual sparklers themselves. And these are all the sparklers that you can make. You can make orange, blue, red, purple, and green. Now, you guys may remember with my glow stick tutorial and my balloon tutorial that in order to make those you need a specific color of dye in order to make the specific color of item you want. Well with the sparklers that is actually not the case. You actually need a specific chemical compound in order to make a specific color. So you need a specific compound to make this orange one, a specific one to make the blue one, so on and so forth. So no dyes are involved in any of these sparklers and that's actually the reason why I wanted to go ahead and show you guys these sparklers before I showed you guys how to craft them because that is actually rather important to know. So let's go ahead and get started in actually making these sparklers and you're going to need calcium, cerium, mercury, potassium, tungsten, you're going to need a maximum of six chlorine, and then you're also going to need one stick and one magnesium per individual uh, sparkler. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we're gonna make calcium chloride. So we're gonna put this in here, and we're also gonna put in two chlorine, and that is going to make our calcium chloride. And one thing that's actually rather useful about this compound creator it does not actually take up the actual elements that you're using. You can do this infinitely. And this is not because I am in creative mode. This is specifically made for the compound creator. So you can make infinite amount of whatever it is you're trying to make. So that's actually rather good to know. Next, we're going to make cerium chloride. And we place this in here. And we need three chlorine. Here's a one, two, three. And that's going to create our cerium chloride. Let's go ahead and take the materials out. Now we're going to take mercury and we're going to go ahead and place in two chlorine and what this is going to make is mercuric chloride. We need one of those. Now we're going to go ahead and take potassium and we're going to need only one chlorine this time and this is going to create potassium chloride. Last but not least we're going to take our tungsten and we're going to use all six of our chlorine and this is going to create tungsten chloride. So now we have all the materials that we are going to need to make each individual sparkler. So first things first, we need to go ahead and take out our sticks and we're going to place our sticks down in the bottom just like this. And then we're going to take our magnesium and we're going to place it in the center just like this. Now this is where we start actually making the individual colors. So we're going to put calcium chloride at the top right here. This is going to create your orange sparkler. This time we're going to place in the cerium chloride. This one's going to create our blue sparkler. Next we're going to take out our mercuric chloride. This is going to create our red sparkler. Our potassium chloride, this creates a purple sparkler right here. And last but not least, our tungsten chloride, this is going to create our green uh, sparkler. So that is all the sparklers that you can actually make inside of the game. And this is not just a static item, you can actually use these. So if you actually hold down the button that requires to actually eat these, which is a little bit weird, but it is what it is. If you're using touch controls, obviously you're probably going to have to hold down the screen. I'm assuming there might be a button, I'm not 100% sure. But just hold down, and this is what's going to happen and it creates a little bit of a new item texture for you and it actually has a particle effect as well. If you take a look down in the bottom where the actual item is in my hotbar, there's actually a durability bar and as you hold this out in your hand, this is going to lose durability. So if I go ahead and take this off, it no longer will lose durability. And I don't actually know if this is the case, but I'm gonna go ahead and test this out really quick, but I do not think that this actually 
creates any form of light source whatsoever. So let's go ahead and head to the back of the obsidian chamber if I hold this out. So it does light up in your hand just like the glow sticks did, but it does not provide any immediate light in the surrounding air. So that's actually kind of good to know. So I'm going to actually go ahead and activate all five of these. So this is what the blue one looks like. Let's go ahead and get out the red one. And this is what it looks like. And again, depending on which one you have out, it's going to create a specific color of particle effects for you. So this is what the blue one looks like. And then here is the red one. Let's go ahead and get out our purple one. And this is what it looks like. This is the purple uh, sparkle effects. And last but not least, the green one. And this creates green particle effects. So that is literally all there is to the sparklers. Now, down in the description will be a link to two PDF files, one of which is going to be to all the recipes necessary to actually make everything that uh, Education Edition has to offer, and the other one is to the Element Constructor, which that's not important for this video, but I'm putting it down there because it's another useful piece of information for you guys to have. Anyway, no way, that is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. Or more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.